So to answer the question about the main, main climate priority for the EU moving forward, I will have to speak on my own behalf because the advisory board hasn't um, conducted in-depth analysis on this. One priority, I would say, is actually passing a 2040 target as recommended by the advisory board and also putting in place some of these enabling policies to, uh, to make sure that it's feasible. So one of them, for example, is ensuring that we can decarbonize the electricity sector by 2040. Uh, we also need additional policies to electrify more end uses and also put in place enablers for more sustainable lifestyles. To uh, get to this transition, uh, we'll need a lot of investment and a lot of innovation. And uh, the private sector needs credible and stable policy signals and um, to make these investments and at the same time uh, governments need information from the private sector to help set some of these targets. Yes, so by 2040 we need a target of at least 90% emission reductions and that is actually to, to, let's say, to look at risks and opportunities. From a risk perspective, we need this to stay within livable boundaries of global warming and prevent societal disruption. But from an opportunity perspective, it's actually all the solutions that create good jobs, all those new technologies, so it is also a way to innovate into the future. We have two science-based carbon reduction targets. The first is to reduce our emissions by 30% by 2030 versus our 2019 baseline. And our second is to reach net zero by 2040. And that means that we're going to have to reduce our emissions by 90% versus our 2019 baseline. The EU's 2040 climate goals are going to be key to achieving our target. We're going to need circular systems for our packaging. We're going to need a fully green grid for our electric vehicles. And we're going to need to make sure that we shift to non-fossil fuels for all of our distribution network and for our manufacturing operations. I have two things that policymakers can do. The first is to set a 90% reduction target versus 1990 levels in terms of the EU's net zero 2040 target. And the second is to make sure to continue the dialogue with businesses. We bring a vast amount of industry expertise and we want to see change. So let's keep the dialogue going. The green uh, agenda, the green deal is basically and conceived as, I think, a, a growth agenda. We are all in this together and so uh, industry, citizens, public authorities all have to make real big efforts to reach the goals that we are, have set to ourselves. So my main two re recommendations for the EU had to actually enhance competitive sustainability are twofold. So one is how to approach and how to deploy the energy transition in an integrated way, which means how not see efficiency, renewables and all the other elements as a, as a siloed approach. 